Hey guys, this is Melissa here, and thank you so much again for joining me for another exciting episode of Flip Tip Tuesday. So today, um, guess where? A rental rehab. This is what I call the high house for multiple reasons, but one of them is that it's got an extremely high awkward mailbox, Exhibit A. Should have been an indication as to what's going on inside. They were growing a ton of Mary Jane. Who knows what Mary Jane is? True or false? I didn't. For sure when I was in high school. Let me just dial it back just so you guys know who you're dealing with. So when I was in high school, I had a girl come up to me at my job at the time and she's like, Melissa, have you ever done anything? Like, have you ever smoked anything? And I'm like, let me tell you what I haven't done. Like I've never done weed. I've never done grass, never smoked marijuana, never tried pot, never done Mary Jane. I'm pretty clear. She's like, Melissa, they're all the same thing. Who knew? Like, that's who you're dealing with. That's my extent of knowledge on drugs. My husband actually teaches me a lot from what he sees at the fair house. Very true. So here is a little bit of the house here. You guys can see kind of the condition that it was in. I wanna focus this tip on the kitchen and what Ben and I do inside. So, let me take you in. FYI, all the flooring has been replaced. Looks so good. So this is what we do. So guys, if you ever wanna take your kitchen cabinetry from a two to a 10, you take regular stop cabinetry from either Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, flooring and decor, and you stick a header on top. We do this all the time at some of our little rehabs or if we're helping people do um, work to their own house. This is exactly what it looks like beforehand. So you add a small piece of trim molding there because you have to separate the two. You have to draw a small definitive line that you really don't notice, but yet when it's all painted the same color, it really pops. Add the plywood and the crown. And bada bing, bada boom, just a couple thousand dollars. The price of wood and lumber and all that has gone up. We used to be able to do this for easily 800 bucks max, depending upon the size of the kitchen. But this I think cost us maybe a little over, I don't know, Ben could tell you. He probably bought other stuff while he was at Lowe's. Let's just be honest. So this is what it looks like before you get the, the woodwork of the plywood on there. He builds the frame. He puts the plywood on, taps it off with the crown. Bada bing, bada boom, and you're done. And if you have a very curious wife that's pregnant all the time, whoa, <laughs> you get into the cabinets and you're like, well, let's just see how the shelving looks. And you open it up and you say, I know why you're not coming home for dinner. He's got stuff in like all these cabinets. And then check it out. And then you've got like monster bottles and monster cans hanging out with ants crawling all over it. It's pretty much nasty. But this is what keeps them here. This is what keeps them working. So say what then? You do you, okay? You do you. So that's it. That's my tips today. How to take kitchen cabinetry from a two to a 10 to not make it feel plain Jane and like stock. So, if you guys like this, awesome. If you guys want Ben to teach some like woodworking skills, give me a comment below. Cause I keep telling him that people care and he's like, nobody cares. I'm like, everybody cares. So on that note, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Until next time, peace.